Ensor. Right. And in the D League last year, he's been committing. Yeah, you know, this is a big off season for, for, for Jan. Uh, Jan was making very good progress, man, in the D League for uh, Del Dempsey, our GM, and Quint Snyder, our head coach, and we're really pleased with the progress. Unfortunately, last summer here at Tim Gergovich's camp. At 40 left, uh, he's trying to set up a block right now, but that experience, all of a sudden there's a sense of belonging, and, and they grow up in a hurry, I'm told, once they go over to Europe and they're on their own. No question, uh, you know, environment. So uh, you know, we think that uh, professional basketball abroad has a lot to offer a young guy. A lot of times when we draft guys, we, we, you know, we're trying to compete for, for uh, to get to the finals and win championships. And that James was available. Last year's draft we thought was a really strong draft. So uh, when we were trying to decide whether we were going to trade that pick or keep it, we, we felt good about six or seven guys. It was a really a tougher choice than, than normal, and, and George kind of stood out in some areas and fit us very good culturally and uh, fit us good that, you know, he's an NBA defender from day one. So, you know, if you're going to play for Pop, you you got to be able to guard or you're not going to get on the court. So that was a good start. And clearly, IUPUI and not a full-time point guard, you know, he wasn't quite as experienced or sophisticated in some things. And, this year, with Tony taking an injury, he got to play and uh, played pretty well and played good as a backup and even played a little bit of backup, too. And it's you culturally. Can, can you tell us what that means? Yeah, so, um, you know, our, our program is, is one that's it, it, it's a work program, one. And so we've got to feel convinced that no matter how we bring you in, free agency, trade, or draft, that you're a worker. Uh, you know, uh, it's one where Tim's uh, a humble person. David was a humble person. They've kind of passed the torch, and that sets the program. And uh, so humility, uh, intelligence. Uh, we have Pop and RC went and, uh, and talked to Peter, and, and, and they told him their feelings on where we were at. We're trying to get to that basket because he's not relying on jump shots all night long. Uh, but the thing about D.C. is he takes what you give him. If, I mean, if you come up on him, he's going to go around you. If you back up, he'll take that little 17, 18-footer. Yeah, and, and he plays under a guy who grew up in Southern California. So here's a Southern California native coming to New Orleans. And you talk about acclimating. Well, he's got a guy that, you know, is going to guide him through who grew up in L.A. as well, which is nice for him. Bob. Yeah, it, it is. We, we, we're going to have a connection. He's a Pac-10 guy, obviously, and a California guy. So, you know, we'll have some days where we'll just sit down and talk about the NBA and life in general. And, you know, I like to do that with a lot of my young guys, you know, just to, uh, just to let them know I've been there and I understand what you're going through. And uh, if you need ever, anybody to ever talk to, I'll always be here. By the way, we saw Tyreek Evans yesterday on NBA.com. We good also player. saw Stephen Curry. Another good player. <laughs> good player.